Hey guys, it's Carmi Bell again. How are you? I hope you're doing well today. So, in today's video, we are gonna test some new releases from Makeup Revolution. Revolution Beauty has launched so many collaboration palettes lately. The one is from them is the Patricia Bright collaboration co collection. They have launched two eyeshadow palettes and some face palettes. I don't have the face palettes right now because I have so many bronzers and whatever. I don't need the Teresa face palette. I don't need any face palette anymore. But I have the two eyeshadow palettes, one is the bright one and the nude one. They are looking like this. They have this really nice metallic packaging. I love this type of packaging, this metal type of packaging because it's really nice to store, it's really easy to clean, so I'm really a fan of it. Both of them are cruelty free and vegan, which is really a plus. Here is the bright one with the black front. It looks really really nice in my opinion I especially love these blues over here and this purple color which is really really nice it would be then the second one with the white front these are the more nude palettes so I'm not a fan of the nude palettes I really a uh, colorful type of girl but I think this is really really nice especially these two navy blue or royal blue the deep one and the brighter one and this green eyeshadow you can mix the two palettes together by the way and with these two palettes you have really nice potential basically you can create every type of look if you would like these are the two palettes together if you are put it together you can create countless look with this palette i think if you are more of a new type of girl you can create a really nice brown everyday look with this palette then if you are oh, if you are more into the colors you can create some bold eyeshadow looks with this or if you're mixing the two together you can create some really nice smoky eye with a nice pop of color yesterday we have had a vlog day with my bestie she has also a youtube channel so i will link it down below if you would like to check it i was made a bright green type of look yesterday for our vlog days i would love to recreate this really nice green type of look if you would like to see how it looked like yesterday it's coming up on my bestest channel so you can check this out if you would like so i will link it down below if you are interesting of course so then let's jump straight into the palettes i'm gonna use of course the brighter one if you know me i'm a brighter colorful type of girl but if you would like to see a really nice smoky or everyday look please let me know in the comment section i will do it i will definitely do that we have the names on the eyeshadow palette printed under the pens which is a really smart idea we have here this type of shimmering this is a nice shimmery shade then love song which is a really nice almost satin finish i would say they are looking like this and we have here the light brown and then these chocolatey brown type of thing is really nice so if you guys can see we have some pigmentation over here Ooh, this is a little bit chalky I have to say that so, it's watched I, th I think it's swatch really nice the matte shades are a little bit powdery a little bit chalky i would say i'm gonna swatch only just some shade over here not every single shade in this palette because it took way too long we have then green juice reckless fruit, um, fruit punch and the blue one is no wood no boo, no boo. Then green juice, reckless, fruit punch, and no boo. Oh, this shit is really, really nice. This is really catching my eyes. I'm gonna swatch it over here. Yes, peaches looks like this.
Normally, I have done always my foundation, my contouring and everything and after then the eyeshadow because I was really insecure because my uh, skin texture, I have really textured skin Ex especially on the winter time, I have so many pimples and everything's going on so let's just zoom you in a little bit guys so let's just zoom you in a little bit guys just to see a little bit better what I'm doing right now I'm gonna begin with the shade Trendsetter Whoa. So you don't have to be so precise at this point I'm gonna tap only just the eyeshadow in my crease area I think this is the most interesting shade selection for a collaboration palette with Makeup Revolution so far. This is one of them I'm the most excited about, I can say, if I can say so. Nice. To this step, I'm gonna grab a little bigger creasing brush, crease blender, so crease blender brush. I'm gonna start to blend only just the edges a little bit. Really lightweight motions, no extra product or something in here, just to blend a little tiny bit those those harsh edges as we are done with the blending I'm gonna continue with this really nice shade which is called green juice this is a really nice almost neon lime green color I think that it looks gorgeous so after then I'm gonna pack this gorgeous shade only just here on the edges slightly above the trendsetter color and we are gonna do the same thing in with the other eye So this step I'm gonna use a little bit from this really nice vitamin C neon yellow color I'm gonna use only just the same eyeshadow brush what I have used before only just a little tiny bit a hint of this yellow color and I'm gonna tap this right under my brow bone After this step I'm gonna dip the green shade and I'm gonna mix with a really nice royal blue color. I'm gonna mix the green shade with a really nice deep blue color which would be the no blue. Just a small tip for you guys, if you are doing a green eyeshadow look, if you don't have deep enough shade in your eyeshadow palette, deep enough green shade in your eyeshadow palette, or oh, what's gonna be complement your outer V color it's not deep enough to deepen your outer V color then you can always mix it with a little bit blue and then you can get a really nice deep greenish color because the blue complements the green really well so we are gonna do this on this eye as well so just a hint of blue on my outer corner and over here as well 
just a hint of blue on the outer corner. So I'm gonna only just start to blend the blue color into the green. I'm gonna drag only just a little bit into the crease area. I'm gonna continue with the second shade which was the green setter so and I'm gonna go over the blue shade with the green shade as again just just to get back this green undertone what I had lost with the blue Here you can see the blue color of what I dipped on the outer wheel with and then here you can see the green above the blue color mouth with a really nice bluish cool toned green color which I really nice so you don't have to be afraid to mix and match the colors I know sometimes so okay 90% it come off really awful the more you are doing it the best you would be in it this so I'm gonna over again with the green choose color green choose now green choose green juice color which is this really nice lime green color bring this really nice bright effect back and we are gonna only just blend with this color those harsh edges what I got Is not the best eyeshadow palette what I ever used but for this price point I think it's 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 20 euro or 19 euros something like this I have to check it I will link of course down below since I dyed my hair red I really love green colors it complements the red I think really really well that's just my opinion the shimmery shades in here are almost wet. Can you guys can see it transfer if I'm swatching it? Oh, nice. I think it would complement the looks really, really nice. I think I'm not gonna cut the crease. No, I'm not gonna cut the crease. No. So I'm not gonna cut my crease. I only just drag with my finger this shimmery shade to my eyelid. Like this. Can you guys see this? I love it. I fucking love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Oh. Patricia, honey, if you are seeing this, you did a really good job. Yes, girl. I love it. These shimmer shades feels awesome, by the way. So much more moist as normally, which is really nice because you are normally using an eyeshadow palette for 12 months, but I'm not throwing away my eyeshadow palettes after 12 months. And then if the eyeshadow palette is a little bit old or after some months, the shimmery shades are drying out so badly then you cannot do a really nice shimmery eyeshadow look you have to spray with fixing spray primer spray or something you have to wet it with something but in this case i think the eyeshadow doesn't dry if the if the shimmery shades are so wet so wet feeling as as just almost a it feels really slippery you know what I mean I should have doesn't dry out so fast so I think this is a really clever idea and I I never seen anything like this before I think so I'm gonna go back with the previous brush what I have used to the blue color and I'm gonna blend the shimmery shade not too much
the eyeshadow look is pretty much done so I'm gonna do the rest of my face I'm gonna do a little bit of mascara my foundation and everything all that jazz I'm coming back with my final thoughts so guys this is the completed look with the Patricia Bright collaboration palette which called the rich in color palette the colorful one the bright one the matte shades are a little tiny bit powdery but from the touch if you are swatching it it feels really creamy and soft probably the most soft feeling matte eyeshadow formula what i have felt from revolution but if you are blending it, if you are doing your eyeshadow looks, you have to work with it a little bit because we don't have too much fallout, which is impressed me really well. But the shades are just a little tiny bit muddy, so you have to work with it really, really well. I think these are a little bit powdery, a little bit dry to work with, but from the feeling, it feels really, really soft. So. This is really interesting now. The shimmery shades, this wet formula, I think this is new. I never felt anything like this from make, uh, from La Revolution Beauty because Makeup Revolution doesn't exist anymore. Yeah, I know. But this formula are really, really nice. So I think this is gorgeous. You can work with it really, really nice. It glides on with your fingers so well. Oh, I love it. I think this formula is just gorgeous so let's just zoom you in a little bit these are the shimmer sheets if you guys can see this transferring a little bit and these shades are gorgeous let me swatch one of for you guys the shimmery shades in here are not so duo duochrome popping in your face type of shimmery shades these are more of a satin finish it has a really nice sheen to it, but it's not this really nice, bright, popping in your face, duochrome color. It's more of a satin finish as a shimmery finish. I have felt also the glittery shades in here, which looks like this. This felt also a little bit wet, so it's not so dry as a normal pressed glitter. Can you guys can see this? So, it's for a bare skin, I doesn't prime with anything. For a pressed glitter, I'm really impressed so far. This is really nice, glides on really well. It's a little bit moisted, so it's not so dry. If you are popping out from the pan, it flows everywhere, you know what I mean. And I have popped a little bit also on my shimmery shades, so it looks gorgeous and it doesn't fall off. For my final thoughts guys, I think this palette works really really nice for me. I really love the eyeshadow look, how it turns out. I really like the full opacity. I really like the, the neon, the brightness of the color. If you have already this palette, please let me know in the comment section your experience with it. I'm really curious. What do you think with the new, new formula from Rep Revolution? What do you think about the new shimmery type of satin shade, if I can call it so? Thank you very much guys for watching and see you in my next video. Bye!